Hi, this is Jay Gibson from Encodian. So, uh, in this series, we're looking at our utility actions uh, and how they can help you with inflow to build some or, or improve the speed um, and lower the cost of the uh, flows that you're going to create within Power Automate. And we're going to focus today on our clean uh, text action. Uh, and I'm going to give you a few examples of how that can be used to uh, remove unwanted characters uh, and also control characters from a string. Um, obviously, the use cases are pretty much endless, so we're just going to uh, focus on the mechanics of uh, how this action works. So I'm going to click New Step, uh, and I'm going to type in Clean Text, and hopefully, actually, we'll just click on here. I'll do it this way, and we'll see all the utility actions down the bottom here, because they're beginning with you. So here we go, Utility Clean Text. So the first thing to do is we, we need a text value, so I'll, just for cleanness, I'll add a variable. Uh, initialize a variable and I'll pass in text and sorry string and I'll set a value for this so in the value I've got here um, I have carriage return which is a control character which I'd like to remove and I've also got some other um, sort of special characters that are contained in that string that I would also like to remove so as a bit of a catch-all I'm gonna I'm gonna set a larger array of characters to, to remove. And to do that's pretty straightforward. First thing is in the text value here, I'm gonna pass in the string that I would like to work with. So if I just scroll down in the dynamic dynamic data, oh apologies, I haven't set that value there, text variable, let's go back here, there we go. And in here where we've got the remove character set, basically this is where you type in all of the characters that you would like um, to remove if they appear within the text value or string. So I'm just going to type in a large array of characters there, in fact, a, a list of special characters. There's an associated blog post if you want to copy this, but you know, you could put in any uh, collection of characters that you would like to in, in, that, in that character set there. So you can be very specific and just say, I only want you to remove an exclamation mark, or it could be wider. Uh, the next thing is um, in control characters, I can say whether they want to remove those or not. In this example, I'll say yes. And we've also got this option here of saying removing any invalid file name characters, which again, I could say yes, because undoubtedly, for example, these two values here, I know are invalid uh, in the file name uh, character set. So we'll just leave that for the moment. That, that's pretty much got my examples covered. I've also got this option here to trim results. So let's say I've got white space at the end of this here. So I'll just put that in. By leaving trim result, that will remove any white space from the start and end of the string automatically. So I just test this. Um, I can use an existing trigger because I've been messing around with this already this morning. And what should happen is that I should get a, a value returned that has the um, carriage return removed. As you can see, carriage return, I've got three um, Characters I've set in the character set to remove a comma, an exclamation mark, and a dollar sign. If I scroll down to the output value, bear with me, click show more, and you can see that text has been cleaned as expected, as expected and the carriage return has been removed. Um, as another example, I will pop in um, an example. Let's say you wanted to clean the file name, show you how easy that could be. So again, I'll just pop in a value here. This could be an example where, say, you're trying to concat say an email address into a file name. I don't need to the, the character set there, but what I could do is say, I don't need to remove control characters, but I would like to um, ensure that the result is a valid file name by stripping any characters out. Again, let's just test this again. And I should get any invalid characters for a file name removed um, according to sort of standards based file name characters that are not legal. You can see the characters that are illegal, I know, this one and this one and I would expect those to be removed which I have. Okay so hopefully that gives you a really good example of how you can use the clean text uh, utility action to strip, remove or clean uh, a string text value in Power Automate. Uh, as ever if you have any questions please reach out to the support team. Uh, best way to do that is support at encoding.com um, and you can also of course try the website support.encoding.com as well.